106. I'm here to see Mr. Ross. 107. 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. 115. 116. 117. Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlind is holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has, shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, it's an outrage. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, <laughs> you're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I, so did I, a long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. 348. Three. All right, Mr. Fordham, onward. God, that's her informant. Gnostics, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap. Shit, Marston, you'll have to carry this man. I don't think he can walk. What kind of jump, criminal? Now, let's go. We need to get the hell off this boat. Prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh yes, he does. Yes, sir, he's the informant. Don't get with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat, then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws, especially when one of them's an office clerk or social secretary or some such. You shut your mouth! I don't know. The motor just gave out. 
Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. It's Dutch's men. Marston, we'll hold them off. Fordham, we'll fix that damn engine. But he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross. Uh, Mr. Fordham? G good day. G good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. <sighs> Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal. Mm -hmm. <sighs> we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir.